this coming May, I will have been a priest in the Paulist community for 60 years. There was 12 of us in my class who graduated from the Paulist College in, uh, in Washington, D.C. And so uh, those 12 members uh, were still a big part of my life. Some have passed away, some of my dear brother Paulus. And uh, then I was a, ordained in New York at 59th Street. And I spent uh, a couple of years doing graduate work at Fordham University in New York. And then the Paulists assigned me to uh, serve at uh, the Newman Center at Ohio State University. And I was there for about six years before I was invited to come out and start a new campus ministry at a campus that was only two years old, the University of California at uh, San Diego, where I have been associated with it for the last 50 years. I remember my first meeting was a kind of a shock that there were only a thousand students and uh, it's been an extraordinary exciting thing to have known alumni uh, uh, students who are now grandparents for heaven's sake and have sent students to this campus. When I first came to UCSD it was a very much an American community and but how it changed, particularly with the Vietnamese who came into the campus in large numbers. I became very involved, particularly in the, during that Vietnam period, which was a very difficult period because many students were drafted and that whole end. So it was a very interesting period, I think, in my life here as we went through protests, but uh, they were well conducted. And it was that students learned a great, deal about what faith really means when you have to go out into the plaza and explain what you believe as a Christian. And that's a, a tremendous ministry in itself. I grew up in western Nebraska and I attended public schools. But we had, of course, religious programs at the local parish, Catholic parish. But what changed was when my family moved to Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I ended up in a parochial school. And that was quite a different experience because I met with students who were uh, not only of a Spanish, Mexican background, and that led me to be interested in finding out about the Paulus. In fact, it happened at a retreat. I uh, was run by a, a Jesuit. It was uh, around 1950. I was a senior at that time. During the retreat, this good Jesuit priest brought out a lot of information. And one of the things he brought out was a little booklet that was set up by the Paulus. And I remember writing a letter, and within about a week, I was invited to uh, go to a, a campus ministry in Texas and, um, and find out more about the Paulus and I fell in love with the Polis. And a lot of it had to do with the fact that my father uh, came from a Protestant or an Episcopal community into the church, and I was uh, wanted to join a community like the Polis, who really their main work is to reach out to other Christians and non-Christians and people of different uh, traditions. And uh, that is what impressed me about the Paulus and still is a big part of the uh, ministry for all of us who are called Paulus. <laughs>